Good morning. Today is going to be great. And it's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to update you on what we've been working on. There's a specific project that I had started in order to put into a gallery and then it just blossomed from there. And I want to read you some of the script that I wrote to go along with it. Since we're not going to be a part of an in-person show anytime soon, I still wanted to share with you my thoughts and ideas of how this project got started. I gathered inspiration from several different artists, but I saw one picture from an artist, her name was Teresa L.C. Ahmads. I don't know if I said that right, but I had started struggling with quite a creative funk and I saw her work and fell in love with her movement and the, her rhythms within each piece. I said, I need that right there. That's what I need. So I just started in on it. No more no's, no constraints, no negative ana analysis, no care for the mistakes. And with time and the freedom, they just kept coming. The ease of them, much like the waves of the ocean. The ease they came to mind, then down onto the page, kept going and going for hours, like coloring in all the little tiny holes inside the letters in a sentence. It was just so relaxing. I just letting them flow. I would pick any wave reference I liked and then started marking the page. There was something about marking with thick black marker ink or just a pen that was unerasable no going back like a written brain dump or a free write where you just keep writing even if it makes no sense at all it becomes a dance a reconnect each one unique never pre-planned or recreated to correct the mistakes I guess much like the ocean waves, these waves are, are a reaction of my creative center pulse. Again, I was in the middle of the king of all creative blocks. It is still going on, but much, much lighter. It feels like, I guess it feels like it has been going on for at least probably 10 years slow growing at first. My creative waters became stagnant, losing my love of it, losing the love of just sitting down and creating. I needed to blow my creative nose, so to speak. After a great conversation with a friend, she told me, take talk to your heart and ask her honestly, how are you and why are you hurting? These waves are a subtle break in the long time of wait. For me, they are monumentous. The ease of them helped me reconnect, and they mean they mean far more to me beyond what I can explain or articulate. I say to all those who were passing by, only glancing at the waves. Just keep walking. Your waves will come when you least expect the change, but need them the most. I don't know if I will always need them or even how long they will keep me, but for now they are a larger part of my creative breath. In the last video we had started on a study of human anatomy to use up some of our journals. So that's the Creative Goals 1B. 
And last but not least, goal two, getting involved. I reconnected with a few of my creative partners and reaching out to different artists and such and trying to find a way to create our online community. This is definitely in the very first stages of development because we don't want to reinvent the wheel, but we do want to get involved with our, the artistic community um, in our respected areas of expertise, but also keeping an open mind to learning from people in other areas of creativity. Okay, so I think that's what we have for this time, but stay tuned.